ladies and gentlemen, as promised, Barbara Windsor is here. Oh, thank you. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Well, listen, we're all very excited about um, oh, Panto. It's yeah, going to be awesome. It's good, isn't it? I've got lovely Andy Ford back. Because I saw Andy many years ago, and I said, if ever I do pantomime, I want Andy Ford. He's just perfect. And, of course, he came here last year and was a big hit. So I said, do you think it would be all right if I had him back again? Mm. And Eric Potts is wonderful. He's a proper... Da- he's what dames are made of. He's, he's big, <laughs> he's roly-poly, he's just fabulous. Pantomime was something I w- desperately wanted to do because it was my first job when I was 13. And this year I'm celebrating my 60 years in business. And the one theatre, and honestly, this has crossed my heart, I know my theatres very well, I've never played... The Bristol Hippodrome and it's one of the best best I've seen I've been to the theatre as a punter I've even travelled up you know, but I, and, but it's the best theatre ever it's wonderful those guys I was around it today and I got all tearful it was wonderful and it's a great piece Dick Whittington it really is and it hasn't been done for so 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 long it couldn't be Better. We look forward to having you for the whole of Christmas. Thank you so much. Maybe it, I'll come in again. It's going to be, yeah, of course yeah, you can. That'd be you. nice. Should we go it? out for drinks? I think that'd oh, be I'd be like better. that. If you come and see the show and come out for drinks, but let's go out and have that's That's on the card, yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, good. Ladies and gentlemen, Barbara Wins. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So let's, let's start at the beginning. You're here because you're in Panto. I am. My first pantomime in like 15 years while wow. I've been in EastEnders. And, and the, the, the re- I mean, there's so many reasons why I wanted to play Bristol. Be- but I, number one was before the theatre. It's because I came and saw Jim Davidson many years ago and I said, Jim, what a what a place he said yeah it's great to play and when I'm, I'm here to do all publicity to get people to come and see my pantomime Dick Whittington at the Hippodrome they are, I've done it you see <laughs> I, 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 I just assume people are going to come I've forgotten about all the this the only thing she hasn't done is put one of those little boards on walking around saying I'm Babs come and see me I, I, I know I know but the <laughs> thing is the fact that this Christmas Eve will be my 60th year in the business my wow. first first job I ever got at 13 was in pantomime I was talking to Barbara before we came on air and you and you are a stickler for detail. Oh, aren't you? Uh, but I think that's good, you see. You yeah. want it to look right, mm. you want it to sound right. Because for many people, kids in particular, this is their first visit to a theatre and mm. it's got to be right. And for all those newfangled things they've got and all the de- whatever, there's nothing like. I mean, obviously, we've had to go with the times a bit. We've got 3D in this, this, this year, which is absolutely brilliant. But I said, don't have it. I just don't want it arriving. Make sure it incorporates into the show. But what is wonderful when you actually actually do see the kids the first time interacting see oh yes you oh no it's not it's behind you no, it's wonderful and when they see the, the prince and the, the princess and you know and all that falling in love and and it's lovely and a man dressed up as a as a, a big fat you know washerwoman it's wonderful and you've got you see and also there were several reasons i I wanted to come here and do it. There were things I, I wanted, and I, you know, I thought I was in a position to ask. That I've I've looked at a lot of sets lately. Although you've always had good pantomimes mm-hmm. here, you've always had good sets. I wanted a brand new Dick Whittington set, which I've got, which I've got, which is which is wonderful. I wanted Andy Ford. Who was here last year? Which I, I and I, he he brought the house, house down. down. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. Well, I I saw him about. 10 years ago and loved him and I always remember saying at the time if I do Panto again I want that man so I'm so pleased he's back by almost public demand it, you know and it's all got all new material he has and of course the great Eric Potts who to me is the consummate dame he's fat he's roly poly he's giggly he's wonderful it's, that's how it should be it shouldn't be like a man it, you, you shouldn't be glamorous you know, and, and, and he's not glamorous. I mean, hysterical clothes. I hear at one point he's going to take me off the carry-on scene. <laughs> he's going to wear that horrible green bikini. And he's going to do the... He's going to do oh. that. Oh, I'd have to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bit of get out of my, get out of my, my theatre dress like that, you know. So, uh, yeah, we're going to put... I do realise also that people know me as carry-on and know me as Peggy, so I've got to get a bit of that in. Not too much.